Yo guys, it is Fluffy Says here, back at it with another video for you guys today. Today guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to stream from your Oculus Quest through Streamlabs OBS and normal OBS out to either Twitch or YouTube. Before we start off today's video, I would just like to say June 5th, mark it down on your calendars. That's when I'm going to be doing my 10 hour stream for 1000 subscribers. It's going to be super fun. I'm going to do a Half-Life Alex full playthrough with challenges and stuff in between. I would also like to say this video is a bit different from my normal videos. It's not step by step and some more just tips and tricks and things I've picked up along the way from streaming on my quest that you guys should try out if you're having difficulties. To start off, we're going to go over the hardware. So that way, when we go over the software side, you'll know what all the inputs are. To start off, we're going to talk about video. Video actually doesn't have anything too special. But if you want to make something more special like streaming a Steam VR game from your Quest, you're going to need a cable. So in my case, I'm using the charging cable since the new update came out allowing the charging cable to work. And I'm using it with an adapter that allows the USB-C to turn into a USB-A. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't have a USB-C port on my computer, but you can do that if you'd like if you have a USB-C port. If you're not planning to play Steam VR games and you're just going to use the Oculus Quest as the Oculus Quest, then all you have to do is have the Oculus Quest on and we can use screen copy over in SideQuest to get your video to transfer over to your PC for the stream. Next we're going to move on to audio where things get a little bit more complicated. So for audio, you can either use a Bluetooth receiver or in my case you can use an audio cord. Odds are if you're streaming and you're into YouTube and Twitch, you're already going to have an audio cord. So I recommend just using that if you can find an extension cable. But if it's really necessary, you can always get a Bluetooth receiver to do your audio. What you're going to have to do is if you're using a Bluetooth receiver or if you're using a cable, is you're going to have to find where that connection goes in. In my case, I put the cable into the line in slot in my PC, and so that's where I know where it goes. This will come in handy when trying to add the audio over on OBS. Now this is where things get a bit technical. Because the Quest has two audio output slots for using either side headphones, you can actually use this to your advantage. Now, if you just plugged in an audio output cable, you're never going to actually hear any audio because your headset thinks you have headphones in and is no longer going to use the speakers. But, if you plug a pair of headphones into the other side, you can actually use those headphones and still send the signal out to your PC. And this is where we get the hardest part of doing the audio for an Oculus Quest live stream. For me, I kind of lucked out with my microphone stand being able to fully extend out in one direction. But what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to plug in an external microphone that connects directly into your PC. This means over on OBS, you're going to have two audio inputs. That's going to be your Quest and your microphone. So what I like to do is I like to extend my microphone into my play space and push it off a little bit to a side. That's what I do with hardware and that's what I would recommend, but you can do it however you'd like. If you want to use a Bluetooth receiver, that works too. You can make your Quest fully wireless if, of course, you're not streaming Steam VR games. Or you could and also use virtual desktop, just that's a bit more complicated and more on the software end. And so without further ado, let's move over to the software. We're going to again start off with video, then move on to audio. So for video, all you have to do is open up SideQuest, get your headset connected. Then if you're going to do it wirelessly, connect it via Wi-Fi, then unplug your headset and start screen copy. Copy the settings I have in there for the crop. That's the crop you want to record your whole entire screen and then start casting. Then from there, go to OBS and then click on your game capture and change that to capture the screen copy. The next step we're going to want to work on is audio. Audio is actually going to have two setups. You're going to have to set up the audio for input from your headset and then input from your microphone. The input from your microphone is easy. All you have to do is go to mic slash aux, click on the little cog, click properties, and then switch it to your microphone of choice. Then to capture the actual quest audio, all you have to do is make a new source audio input then go to that audio input capture and then change it to your line in or mic or wherever you connected your headset to your PC. 
And with that, you're basically done. Just go about streaming the normal way you would onto YouTube or Twitch by putting in your stream key into actual OBS or Streamlabs OBS yourself. I wish I could say it was this easy. The problem is it normally isn't. Sometimes the Wi-Fi casting doesn't work. Sometimes the audio isn't working. Sometimes your headset's not working. The problem is it's kind of a beta product and so you're gonna get these inconsistencies and errors. You just kind of got to work through it. You got to do some troubleshooting, but I hope this video helped. I hope you now can stream on your own and I hope you can come check out my streams and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out everybody. Bye.